This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com slash Skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description, and if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. So we're going to take a look at some underwater bottom fishing structure in this video, but I'm also going to highlight a piece of gear that I was able to use to do this that is uh, quite a bit different than my traditional scuba diving stuff and uh, a lot more portable and convenient. Okay, so this is a very cool product. This is a small scuba setup, tank, regulator, pressure gauge, a, a harness vest. The whole thing weighs eight pounds, which means I can put this on my back and I can walk a long distance on the beach with it, get to spots that would be difficult for me to do a beach dive from because scuba gear is typically very heavy. Um, as well, it fits all in this small case. So, uh, hey, and let's take a look at what I consider is probably one of the best features of this setup. And besides the portability, what I really like about this is I can fill it myself. Um, yeah, it's really simple stuff. You just disconnect this, connect this here like that turn it on make sure this valves open off we go close this up That's it. It'll shut down by itself, but it should take about 20 minutes. Okay, it's reached what I set it to, which is like 3,000 uh, PSI. And actually, it had already stopped by itself. All right, so all I need to do is just hit this. And uh, I'm good to go. I've been a certified scuba diver for over 40 years, so, uh, you know, I know this stuff isn't a toy. The first thing I'm going to do is check it out in the pool. Hey, you see, I grabbed a couple of uh, lead uh, weights there. I don't have a dive belt on. Um, I'm trying to figure out in the pool, like, uh, normally I would wear a buoyancy compensator for real diving. Um, but with this, I'm just trying to see how much lead I need to stay down. And it looks like... Um, about 10 pounds is going to keep me down. There we go. We've got some kind of nuts sitting there on the bottom of the pool. But, uh, yeah, so I was able to get like 20 minutes of bottom time in the pool with this. But, hey, that's not the same as being out on open water like this. And it's summer. The water's warm. I'm going to push out into about 20 to 25 feet of water, uh, see if I can find some blackfish. Yeah, the blackfish just love the nasty structure, and there's a couple of good ones in there. And uh, yeah, this is Long Island Sound in the summer. The water clarity is not too horrible for this time of year. Um, definitely, we can see some stuff in there. And yeah, boy, I love hiding in those crevices. And there's a ghost trap there. Um, they have vents on them uh, that will rot out so that those things don't just stay down there forever and continue to kill fish. But um, yeah, you know, we'll see some interesting things as you poke around in these places. So being able to fill this on my own with that optional uh, air compressor and just the portability of being able to you know walk it well down the beach that's what's really attractive to me. But I can see some other applications for this. You know, I, I think about these guys that go offshore on these big boats, and, you know, it does happen where they'll get a, a rope or something wrapped in the props, and somebody's got to go in the water and deal with that. You know, this stuff is, this unit is so small, that would be something to tuck away somewhere on the boat uh, in case of an emergency. You know, the, the thing is also so small that uh, it would be easy to travel with if you want to take it on a plane or something. Um, you know, it just hey, it just fits in the car easily. Doesn't take up a lot of room. What's the downside? The downside is, is bottom time. Um, I'm going to get about 15 minutes on this dive, but you know what? 15 minutes is plenty of time 
for me to check out some of the shore casting spots that I use for blackfish. And I'm going to do that, and I'm going to refine those spots. And, you know, what? I'm going to catch more blackfish off the beach this fall because I've got this, and I can easily get it down into these areas where I want to check out the rocks. So, yeah, there's a link in the video description. I think it's called Smako or Smako. I'm not sure what the name of that company is, how to pronounce it. But, yeah, I'll have a link in the video description. And, uh, yeah, I, I think it's something worth checking out. So, all right, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Check out my online courses, saltstrong.com Skinner.